has gotten worse. The rain is back again. It's been here like for like a week or two. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. For my longtime viewers, welcome back for my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Wednesday, September 14th, and this is how much we made so far during the week. We made only on Instacart $127.69. We worked on Monday. On Tuesday, I did like three batches, and then I said, you know what, I'm gonna go home. That was one of the first times ever that I, I just like quit mid-shift. I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't wanna work anymore. I'm going home. So I started recording, and then I stopped recording, but we're gonna make it up. Mark my word, so let's get the party started. I don't know what the plan is today. I will let you guys know. Everybody's cutting grass, so I don't know if this uh, sound is terrible. So let me stop the intro quick. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you wanna watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. But my people, let's get started. Let's make that money, let's go. All right, the time is 8.25 in the morning. And we accepted our first order of the day. We just made it to Publix and we already accepted our first order. It is a $10 order for four items. But let me tell you something really quick about, about yesterday. So yesterday, I did not go to the gym. And usually when I don't go to the gym, I feel all wonky, I feel weird, and like I don't make good decisions, so whatever. I, I didn't go to the gym. And then I was going to Publix and I was passing by BJ's like at 8.30 and I said, you know what? I haven't gone to BJ's in a long time, so let's, let's stay here for the drop. So I stayed from, from 8.30 until 9 20 zero orders zero orders available nothing popped up at bj's nothing not one order popped up so i'm like oh man so whatever i left and then i went to publix i did like two or three batches and after that i said you know what i'm going home so i went home and i rested the rest of the day and this that is what happens usually when it's slow and i go to the gym and it's slow i, I usually like I fight it i fight it i'm like okay uh let me let me do at least a few small orders or like let me let me push through it but i did not go to the gym and i said you know what i'm going home i didn't feel like working anymore so i said i ah, forget it let me go home so the point of the story is if you could find a routine like in the morning to get you ready for the day i mean you don't have to go super hard at the gym or whatever but maybe wake up earlier take a nice shower uh have breakfast you know have a nice routine in the morning so you're not like you know so i don't know it makes you feel better when you feel productive when you wake up and you're productive in the morning, it, I don't know, it makes you it makes you like feel like like you accomplish something. So you do a lot more throughout the day. So, you know, if you guys want to try that, you know, if you have slow days and you're like, ah, forget, I'm going home. Uh, if you want to try to avoid that, like try to have a routine in the morning so that you could like, you know, feel good throughout the whole day. And, and that's pretty much it. But you know what? Let's do that $10 order for four items. Let's go get it. All right, Publix first order of the Dia. All right, it's been four minutes and we are done. Let's go. Let's go pay for this and deliver ten for ten dollars. All right, we got the few bags here. Let's deliver this. Let's do it. All right, the time is eight forty-four and we completed a ten-dollar order for like four items and it's basically to a restaurant that I always deliver to. I always deliver to this place. I've delivered here like five or six times and it's literally like across the street. So it took me like what 10, 15 minutes. It's eight forty-four. All right, let's continue the grind. All right, it is eight forty-nine and let's eat let's eat while we're waiting for batches this is what we got we got some mashed potatoes we got a this is um some meat i don't know what type of meat this is to be honest is it chicken maybe yeah it could be chicken and then we got some peas sweet peas and we're gonna put this on everything you already knew let's go ladies and gents all right the time is 9 23 we accepted another ten dollar order ten dollars ninety cents so eleven dollars for one item, 12 units, it's uh, chicken broth or one of those things. Let's go get it. All right, we are back. Let's get this customer this one item. Guys, the store assigned to this order is another store and I forgot to screenshot. I haven't done it in a while where I, I'm shopping at a separate Publix that's not on the Instacart app. And then I just have to press a button that's, that says shop here anyway. As long as uh, it's not alcohol, I can shop in any Publix. So but I forgot to do it, guys. Next time, if I do it again, the thing is that the delivery address is, is not even that far away. So uh, so let's go get this. And then next time, I will do the screenshot. All right, it's been two minutes and we are done. That's it. It was just 12 of uh, these beef broth. And I think they wanted to take advantage of it. Buy one, get one free. So let's go do it. Let's pay for this and deliver. All right, we got everything here. Let's deliver. Let's do it. All right, the time is 9.38. We completed that $10 order for one item. We are, we are at 20 bucks. Let's continue. I might be here all day, guys. I might stay at, at Publix all day. We'll 
we'll see. Guys, I usually don't not, I usually do not look at the hourly, the active time. I don't look at that stuff anymore because it's just, it's not worth it. But I wanted to look at it now because I was like, man, I did these two orders pretty fast. And the active time is 35 minutes for $20, $20, 35 minutes. So we're, we're knocking these out pretty quick. The time is 9.59, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we accepted an $11 order, an 11 cent order. $11, 11 cent order, 11, 11, make a wish. This is probably the good luck order of the day. After this order, I'm gonna get a $100 batch. So let's do this and gonna get that lucky order next because 11, 11, we gotta make a wish. Everything's gonna come true. For 13 items, let's go get it. All right, here we go, Publix, let's get this. All right, it's been 10 minutes and 55 seconds and we are done, that's it. It's just uh, 11 of these items, everything was in stock. Now, well, uh, every, yeah, everything was in stock. All right, let's go pay and deliver. All right, we got everything here, let's deliver this, let's do it. All right, we're gonna have to use a little wagon because uh, this building, I don't know where the entrance is, so I have to walk a little bit. I don't know if the entrance is here or what, but I, that's why I'm using, you know, I, I parked. I didn't wanna be carrying that by myself, so we parked now i don't know if this is the building on the left i have to make sure all right the time is 10 32 in the morning and we completed that 11 dollar 11 cent order for 13 items okay so it's 10 30 we are at 32 dollars so far and we just did an 11 11 order so it should be good luck our next order should be 100 to 200 dollars. let's see guys the time is 11 17 and i missed the 22 dollar order for 18 items one customer I did click on accept and it said it was taken by somebody else. I clicked accept, it was taken by somebody else, man. What happened to the 1111 make a wish? I guess the wish didn't come true. All right, the time is 1119 and we accepted a $10 order for one item. It's a Walgreens, so now I gotta go to Walgreens. I mean, it's, it's only half a mile away and then the place is basically next to this public. So I gotta go to Walgreens and come back. So I'm kind of doing the opposite if you think about it. Going to, I'm driving out to Walgreens and then driving back right next to Publix, which is where the delivery address is. Ah, let's go get it. There was a $15 order for 13 items. After the $22 order, $15, 13 items. And I, I got it as soon as I, I left the app like for a second. I left the, the, the app for a second. Boom, the notification popped up, $15. Boom, I clicked on it, it popped up. I clicked on it, except somebody took it. I'm like, oh, come on, man. So, so yeah, guys, there's that. It is Wednesday. Last Wednesday was good, or two Wednesdays. I don't know. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go do this order. Uh, $10, one item, let's go. We are here, let's go. It's been four minutes and we are done. We, uh, it took me uh, some time to look for it, but I should have known that this heating pad, it would be in the muscle and joint relief. Um, I didn't think about it, but we got it, guys. Let's pay and deliver. So we got everything there. I wanted to tell you a story, guys. So I was in that Walgreens, right? And then, all right, you know, I remember I told you I, I went around like twice to the whole store. Okay, the first time I went around the store, I overheard some ladies like complaining to some other lady, like, oh, they, they don't even know Eng they don't even know Spanish, this and that. Like she was upset because somebody didn't know Spanish. Oh my God, she was truly upset that somebody didn't know Spanish. Oh, they didn't know Spanish. I'm like, okay, whatever, I forgot about it. I went around again the store, and then I, I run into her and she's just passing by. She's like, oh, where's the where's the toilet paper? Dad, they move everything all the time. Every day they're moving something. They move it every day. And I'm like, I wanted to tell her like, hey, excuse me, ma'am. Like, it's okay. Like, relax. Even though when you tell someone to relax, that's even worse. So like, how do I, how do I tell her to calm down without telling her to calm down? Can I be like, ma'am, it's okay. Um, at least you're healthy, you know? You know, or something but man she, that that lady was in a terrible mood like just passionately angry that somebody didn't know spanish and that that she couldn't find something that she was so mad guys oh my, i wanted to record it but i mean i didn't want to get caught but let's go deliver this all right the time is 11 43 and we completed that 10 dollar order for one item let's continue the hustle it took us like 10 15 minutes max let us go all right the time is 11 50 and yes i know it's still early but I told myself I was gonna eat more. So we're gonna have a lunch. This is our lunch from, uh, let me tell you, let me show you the place. The place is called Live Lean Meals. If you, if you do get it, hey, say that Joe Easy sent you. 
maybe she'll start giving me some like like a discount because this this ain't cheap um but it's good though it's worth it it's cheaper than than all the other options i've already done the math guys this is the cheapest option i have and it's it's good food they cook it pretty good so it's a burger i think that's a turkey burger and then we got some sweet potato fries and this is what we're gonna do guys this is what we're gonna do Oh, cause I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a half a chicken for dinner. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna eat a lot of food, guys. I'm gonna start eating a lot. I've I've already been told uh, by too many people already that I've lost a lot of weight, and that that's not good. I want to gain weight, not lose it. So let's uh, let's let's get these gains. I, I went to the gym this morning, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have this, and let's eat. All right, the time is 12:09 p.m. I'm just going to start driving back down to where all the food deliveries are at so i can do some food deliveries guys because i think it's gonna be slow for a little bit i want to keep the moment well i don't know there's no momentum today it, i mean i mean 40 dollars by 12 o'clock i mean it's good if i could get 70 dollars for lunchtime but i haven't been getting that lately you know but we will just go with the flow guys we'll get whatever we can get let's go Oh guys, it is raining. Do you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but look at the clouds. It is raining. I am charging the car right now. Or you can see the 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 rain on the windshield. But I have my I'm ready though, guys. I'm ready. Check this out. All right, so I got my boots here. I got my boots and I am going to have I have my jacket here. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. I'm going to keep I'm going to do some deliveries on this rain. I don't care rain or shine let's do it okay i guess it stopped raining but i'm sticking with my boots i'm sticking with my boots all right so the rain has gotten worse the rain is back again it's been here like for like a week or two all right so this rain is getting real serious now i don't even think i can do any delivery here i mean i'm gonna be i have the full suit but i mean man all right guys, the time is 12.48. We accepted a $16 order for 10 miles and it's going to a place that I don't mind staying there after I'm done with this order and wait for order. So it's actually good. Let's go take it, $16. It could be a hidden tip. I mean, I doubt it's DoorDash. $16, 10 miles, let's go get it. All right guys, you already know, rain or shine, Joe Easy's gonna deliver. I have my insulated bag so I can put everything. It's a big order, that's why it's $16. So let's go, we're here already. We're here already, it's called the Salty Donut. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the package. It's nice and secure. It's gonna be delivered nice and warm or nice and nice and not wet. And you already know, ladies and gentlemen, the rain's not gonna, we're not gonna let the, the rain stop us from making that money, from grinding and from creating content. I mean, the rain makes for better content anyway, so let's go. All right, the time is 1.26 p.m. and we completed that $16 order. It didn't go up, guys. It didn't go up, but it's all good. Sixteen dollars uh, for ten miles, and let's continue, guys. Let's continue the grind. All right, the time is one thirty, and we accepted a six-dollar order for like one and a half miles. Let's go get it. All right, so we accepted an add-on. It is a four dollars seventy-eight cent add-on for point nine miles. So it's gonna be a eleven-dollar order. Let's get. It. All right, I think the first place is over there. It says tacos open. I think it's there because the name of the restaurant is supposed to be called Tacos Time and More. Oh, it is it. I, I can see it. It is it. And it's uh, not raining that much, but I still have my boots. Still got my boots on. You know, I can put wet the floor and I'll be good. Let's go. All right, guys. We got it. Now let's go to the second place. I hope it's here in the same place. I hope so. In the same shopping center. Order number one secured. All right. Here's the second place. I've never seen this place before in my life. All's miles, but I guess it's here. Let's do it. Alright guys, we got it. It wasn't ready, but thankfully it's not that long. It's like two and a half miles in total probably. That's why I accepted it. But like I said in a few videos ago, I'm not gonna take like $12 six mile orders anymore because usually these orders are not ready, even though they should be. And they take forever if it's not ready. So, but this is not that much. Probably take me like half an hour for $11. All right, let's go. All right, both orders secured. Let's do this. All right, guys. So apparently the first order that I had to deliver to is here in the same shopping center. But I mean, they don't have the name of the store. So now I have to figure it out myself. I mean, if you are in a store, don't you think that it's I mean, I've ordered as a customer before on Uber Eats. And I know for a fact that it tells you 
Are you in a building, a business, an apartment, house? And when it when you say you're in a business, it makes you put the business name. But this person did not put the business name, so I'm gonna have to figure it out myself. It is what it is. All right, the time is 2.03, we, and we completed that $11 order for like two and a half miles, and we accepted. I know it's a bad one, but it's taking me to my charger. So let's do it. It's a $13 order for 10 miles. I'm, I'm taking it to the charger, guys. Don't scream at me, okay? But just because it's high mileage. Let's go. All right, there's the name of the place. El Rey de las Fritas. Let's go get it. All right, guys, we got the package. It was nice and ready. Let's go deliver. All right, package secured. Let's go deliver. All right, the time is 2.50. We completed that $13 order. I feel like it took me forever because with this rain that you see, the traffic is terrible. Nobody knows how to drive, so the traffic is just horrendous. But we are by the charger. Let's charge up and then see. If we, I think we're like at 80-something bucks, 84 $83. Let's charge up so we can make another 20 30 bucks, and then we end the day. Let's go. All right, guys, I know I said I wasn't going to take it, but it's already 3.30. It's a slow hour, so I want to get the $100 super quick. It is a $12 Uber Eats order that I accepted for six miles, but I think, I don't think it's really six miles. I think it's a lot less because the Uber map was kind of, I don't know, I think it was making me do a lot of turns that I don't have to, so let's go get it. All right, the place is called Sergio's, and both orders are from here, so that's good. I don't have to go to another restaurant. Now let's go get it. Guys, check out this monstrosity of an order. This is just one order, look. This is one little bag. And then the other order is, is in the back, guys. It's in the back, so I will not show you, but let's go deliver. Let's do it. All right, the time is 4.05 p.m. and we completed that $12 order for six miles. And I think, I don't know, guys, I think we're like at 90 something dollars, like 92, 93, 94, maybe even 95. Let's just continue working until, let's, let's stay out here another hour. It's four o'clock until five o'clock, let's stay. And then we clock out at five, start editing videos, and then that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're treating this like a nine to five. And then my YouTube life is my side hustle. So like I'm treating like my, uh, the deliveries as my full-time job. And then the, the YouTube as my side hustle after work, kind of, you know? Um, and then hopefully eventually, I mean, I'm investing as well. Hopefully I get to start a business soon. I wanna start selling stuff. Um, I wanna start selling some stuff that I will get into later. Ah, different things. But for now, we just chipping at we just chip at it, guys, little by little. Let's continue the hustle though. All right, the time is 4:09 p.m. Probably like 30 seconds later, and we accepted an $11 Publix order for three items. Let's go get it. Let's go. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I've actually never been to this Publix. I think I've been here once, maybe in my life. But it's only three items, so let's, let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been four and a half minutes and we are done. Everything was here in the pharmacy. Now let's go pay and deliver. All right, we got everything here. Let's deliver this. All right, the time is 4.42 and we completed that. What was it? $11 order for three items. I think we are done, uh, but I might do another order. I'm going to start driving home. If I get an order, I'll do it. But if not, I will get with you guys on the final numbers all right ladies and gentlemen so i decided not to work anymore i'm just gonna clock out already the time is 504 p.m and i'm like ah, let me just clock out have some fun some 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 dinner remember i told you guys that i'm gonna start eating a lot more to start bulking up so hey stay tuned for future videos i'm gonna be all all big like the rock hopefully and i decided i have chicken at the house already so i'm like all right, you know what let me just go to Puerto Picale and get a side of rice and a side of beans and you know how much this costs for a side of rice and a side of beans? It cost me $7.04. $7.04 for a side of rice and a side of beans? $7? No, no protein. This is why I do the meals, guys, because... This cost me seven dollars just some rice and beans. Can you believe it? All right, guys, I will get with you guys on the final numbers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. Excuse me, <clears throat> get my glasses on. You know what I'm saying? On Instacart, we made fifty-three dollars flat. 
On Uber Eats, we made $39.51, and on DoorDash, we made $16.48 for a total of $108.99. Ladies and gentlemen, this week has been so slow. I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Has it been slow for you guys? I feel like there's been a hiring spree again, but you know that always happens. But it's been slow on all the apps. And it's been raining too, so I don't know what's going on. But you know what? We push through this stuff. We got to stay positive, push through the slowness, and we'll make it out on the other side better, better, bigger, better, faster by learning. But it's all good, guys. We'll just keep hustling out there. And that's it. If you made it to the end of this journey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. But my people, have a good day. Have a good year. Stay safe out there. Stay safe driving. If it's if it's raining all over the place where you are, drive safe. Do not get road rage. If someone cuts you off, don't flick don't flick the middle finger or or I mean uh, yeah, flick the middle finger. But don't be screaming. Just relax. Calm down, take a deep breath, and let's go.